Right, slight diversion. They're all sheltering down by Bicknoller Post. And there's somewhere, then there's a drinking hole there, you see. So now, it's okay, I don't mind doing this way, but I was supposed to go sort of over that way and then down. Uh, we come Coombs down there. So what, what, all that's happening is I'm still going down. I'll go down and travel on the bottom path to Bicknoller. So I'm just not going to risk that massive herd. And, to, and you might only see one or two on this video, but there's actually about, I would say, at least a hundred. They're all down there sheltering and drinking. But there are absolutely loads and loads of them. And because, you know, I can't risk it, even though they might be all right, I can't risk it. Anyway, I wanted, in the theory, I actually wanted to go this way. So, it's happening indirectly now. What I do, I go down to uh, the plantation, uh, pick up the lower track, which is the Coleridge Walk, and that'll take me to Big Muller. So, um, it's a good job, really, that I do know um, some of these... Um, walks if you know what I mean it's, a, it's actually a good job that I am familiar familiar with the territory yeah because if I see that's the track that leads if I if I was brave enough I could walk past those two because I don't know where all the rest have gone. They've probably gone on the track that I was following coming down. I was round about there, nearly to them. But a massive herd. So I'm just going to do it a different way. It doesn't matter. I'll still get there. And it won't really be too much of a problem. Now if I wanted to, there's a trig point up there. I'm not doing that today. Um, everything changes when you have to rely on buses, you see, and trains. I have to do, and in this case, I have to, my bus is timed to coincide with very close to when the train goes. So, you know, I, I wanted to get either the half past five or the half past six. I did not want to wait till the half past seven just in case one doesn't come. Um, so, and, and I think there's very few trains. There's more trains, sort of five, six o'clock. I mean, I hate this. This, my walk really has been dictated, um, by having to catch, um, catch trains. So it looks like there's just two big cows. Now they're all going in the direction where I could have ended up walking straight into a massive herd if I'd come up through the Glen the other way round. If I'd, if I'd come up Holders, Holford Glen, done it in reverse this morning, I would have banged right into them. I nearly did then. Fortunately, there was another path nearby which I was aware of. I was aware of, so... They've gone along ladies. Lady's Edge, I think, those cows, which is a track that was even lower, but I couldn't wait for them to move. I had to make a uh, take action. But in theory, I would have been um, going over there, weaving over there somewhere, and then down. You know, that that's what I would have been doing. But it, it doesn't matter, I'm doing it this way. I'm still heading for Bitcanoller. Down there is Weecombe. We come coom. Anyway, what's the date today, everyone? Anybody know? Hmm? Anybody know the date? I think it's the 15th. 
In fact, it is the 15th of July, 2021. I don't think I've even mentioned the date so far. Um, yeah, see, they've all gone now. Because they're moving on. They've had a drink. I'm not going to worry because it's not far now till I come down to what's called the plantation and uh, I go through a gate and then I go down join up with Weakham for a little bit and then I get on the Coleridge Walk um, as I get around this corner as you can see it's beautiful scenery here absolutely gorgeous scenery I've just walked from up there I met a lady with a dog yeah, she um, said to me that she'd spotted them as well, a great big herd. And they were moving quite fast, and she had a dog. See, look at where they've arrived now, look. God, they've moved fast. Look how far they've moved from down Bicknoller. They're, they're actually on the path I would have been on. See that hump there? I passed that hump on a path and look at them. God, that was a narrow escape, Sheila. God, and that and it's just showed you how quick they moved. They're actually on the very track I was on. Yeah, look at them. I can see them they're moving along the top there. They're on the exact track I was on. God, it's a good job I was quick thinking then, wasn't it? Because they were going to start heading straight for me and they move fast. They've moved really fast from Big Nolo there, up, right up to there, look. That hump there, I passed that hump. The cow's just gone behind on the path I was on. They're all over where I was not very long ago. Well, I had to put my foot down to move. Wow, that is absolutely amazing how quickly they got there. It really is amazing that as they're all, I can see them humping and pumping along exactly where I was. I had to backtrack a little bit to find that other track. The thing is with cows, they can move in behind you before you know it. Alright, over and out. Can I keep some of this for the lower bit? A little bit of video as I walk down this track. There's my head over there and Butlins. Up there will be the trick point. This is Beacon Hill that I'm on. To do a massive diversion, and I know I'm keep going on about it, but to be quite honest, I'm always going on about cows. But my goodness, that was such a massive herd, and it was coming on my path. I knew we were going to collide. Somebody said to me, "You're going to, there's going to be a coincidental meeting." I mean, this is a nice walk. I did want to do this. I, I was hoping I could do this way down. Um, I am always a bit nervous because of time. I still don't know. I, can, I can't always remember how long a route is till I'm, I start doing it, you know? I mean, I would have been halfway, probably by now I would be on going downhill. By now, yeah. But like I said, I did want to do this route, really. I'm just hoping it's... I haven't made a big error. I wouldn't have been able to walk... I would have had a heart attack if I'd had to walk near those cows. I couldn't have done it. I would have been crying. Tell the truth. I 
would have been crying. Yeah. Bit canolert. Those people have turned back. They've seen them. Maybe they're coming this way, the bloody cows. Could be, couldn't they? They catch up on me bloody quick, you know. Two people have just turned back. I've got to keep um, keep the pace up because in a minute, when I get round this corner, I should see the plantation and the seating area and the car park used by people visiting this area with their car. I mean, I am due to have another stop, really, but I can't because I haven't paced this for time. That's probably a way up to the beacon there. There's a little path, the little seat, I mean. Yeah. Like I said, I've got to keep moving because I've got no idea where those cows are heading, really. Nice little seat, isn't it? Won't be surprised if my sister Jude hadn't sat on that one. I'll sit on it just for a second. I've put the camera down and have a drink of sprinkling water. Nice sprinkling water. We ought to see the church of the village in a minute. Let's keep going. Look at this. Minehead. Watch it. Williton. Um, those trees there, I'll be sort of skirting partly of, part of them in a minute. As I get over this top here, you'll see where I've got to go down. Hidden in all the bracken, there'll be um, deer probably. This is quite a nice walk. I don't think I've... I don't think I've actually ever walked down it, to tell the truth. I can't look at the watch, I can't, because this diversion is probably going to be, I don't know how much of a big issue it's going to be, to be quite honest. I don't know if it's a big mistake. Um, plantation's sort of over that way. There's a track there. I've come down on the grass side. It's much kinder on the feet. So, here's that little stall. I can see those people that made a diversion. They probably, and they're actually on the uh, Bicknoller Hill now, which takes them straight down the other side of there. The other side of there, they will be going down. Now, here we are. This, these, this bunch of trees is called the plantation, and uh, not far now. We'll, we'll, I'll soon be on the lower track, which would take me around that way into the village. I think now I can see ponies, but like I say, those cows get everywhere. Those cows, do. there's Weakham still. I'll be going down there in a minute. I'm not going through the plantation. I should be turning off, going down like that at an angle. I'm not going over that way or anything. It's a big liner anchored up there. It's been there for a while. It could be that they get small boats and let people go and have a little wander around my head, see? Right, over and out again.